What's up, Eric here with LED Grow Lights Depot. In April of 2022, LED Grow Lights Depot had the opportunity to visit Horticulture Lighting Group and get an exclusive look at how their LED grow lights are made. HLG is based in Tennessee, USA and does all of their manufacturing and design in-house. They are the originators of the patented quantum boards. This PCB design had a huge influence on LED grow lights and really helped push the lighting industry forward in terms of efficacy, light output, and penetration. In this video, you'll see how the original quantum boards are made and how the lights are assembled and tested in a U.S. manufacturing facility as explained by Amit and Steve, the founders and owners of Horticulture Lighting Group. Let's take a look. This is a stack of boards over here. And this machine essentially all it does is it picks up a board and puts it over here. And we put this over here just to make sure only one PCB comes out. Like if there's one on top of the other, this will make sure that doesn't happen. We'll stop the other one. So that will feed it in. This is all just basically feeding the PCBs into the line and bringing them to the schedule point, which we can print a board to make on these pads. So basically, it'll just come in and then line it up, and then it spreads the paste on where all the LEDs are going to go, the, the solder paste. So you can see right here that this is going to work and do the board. Okay, so this is placing the LEDs. You oh. found that head moving okay, 16 at it LEDs. Once it's halfway done with this board, it will shoot it to the next machine which will finish it off. What's it making right now? QB two six two QB six forty eight. So now that'll go over there. And then this machine will actually finish the board. You see that's only got an eight nozzles because it had much bigger parts than this sixteen nozzles. So that will pick up the connectors and put it on. Okay. See it's already so it's getting ready to start on the line. So that places the LEDs, this places the connectors? It places the LEDs and finishes the LEDs and finish and put the connectors on that before it goes. Gotcha. So just now it's placing for the connectors. You see it placing those. On this QB648, there's so many LEDs that you put a second one in there because there's so many LEDs to put. Yeah, it's right. one of these retail prices, something like about five hundred dollars. It's like I told Armin, I was like, can you buy this or Ferrari? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, ah, we need this machine. Yeah. Okay, After a while, this will buy you Ferraris, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so it makes two boards at a time, right? Just for two efficiency? Yeah. Well, yeah, but you can take time to go in and measure where the board is. Mm -hmm. But it saves that time plus also the oven moves the speed. So, unlike the QB288, if these machines were optimized out, it makes two of them in 23 seconds. So we can hold the the time, so they're right on top of each other in the oven. Okay. So if we don't penalize them, then, then the machine really stopping and waiting on the oven. Right. So how long from there to there? From front to back? Well, so generally, this right here is about one minute. Okay. So we we have an inspection, so they'll come over. The employee will look at everything, make sure everything's lined up. Like, see this connector every now and again, they don't line up perfectly. So they'll do that. That's why they have tweezers. That lot of this stuff will straighten itself out in the oven anyway, because once it turns liquidous, it's, this is all hydrophobic, it all goes freak. Right. So they'll be full complete, and it'll move on into the oven. Is this going all day? Right. Do we need to stop the lines? If you touch them, they'll move. Nothing is. So oh, oh okay. So yeah, when it's so placing them, it's just setting them on there. Sitting on yeah. the wet place. So then when, when this the goes oven. into the oven, it slowly brings up the temperature to where the, the solder paste melts into liquid solder. And that makes sense. Everything's stuck. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's and then the board's works. finished. Yes. Okay. Then it goes into an unloader down there into a magazine. Nothing yet. Uh, that top Slow. Yeah. It's almost like a pizza oven. It brings it up to a <laughs> slow to temperature and then it's done. And then this kind of, this conveyor here kind of helps cool the PCBs back off. You don't have to do that, but for right. the employees sake, they're fine. Right, I believe it. You only got one. This has a dual cooling zone in the oven. Mm -hmm. but still, you're getting up to 
Yeah, it's cooking. Prep up the driver, and then they'll start building picture over here. It just goes through. There's multiple people over here, three or four people, and they'll start building like uh, something like this with the power supply in the back, grounded cables. Then they'll put the LED modules. That as we go through this line, so this is where we put the wood in. Install the wood on those. The wire cover, wire cover, and the boards they all go together. The scorpions will be up. Hey, buddy. Yes, dude, how are you? Good. Yeah, so they'll start off, take a blank plate, and they'll get it ready. Feed the wiring harness into it. It's slow, but sure they put these things together and they get them stages. the line guys so he tests all the lights make sure that the exact power they're supposed to be we tune them and then um, makes it, he runs the uh, hot pot testing and uh, certifies them for a UL certification gotcha. so ETL certified factory so he does all the in the line testing to make sure that the, uh, the fixtures and the syrups are up to snuff and also so we do like something called a high pot test to make sure that the ground is very conductive. So that if anything does go wrong for any reason, lightning strike, whatever, the fixture will pass that ground, pass that power into the ground and be able to keep you if you had your hand on it, lightning strike your house and it wouldn't get you. It would continue down the line through the, right. through the ground. Right. So they get tested in the line and then they get tested again after the line ships again. And then we package it up over here. We actually make our own custom foam. We have foam machines. John does that next door. But this part goes on each individual wing. We have a mold for the scorpion. And then uh, he puts it together. The box together. Yeah. So we start out with our driver. Uh, we use a uh, 600 Imatronic driver. We, uh, we pull it out of the box. And uh, like I said, we, we build T's. Uh, when I say T's, we build a DC cable that has uh, three wires coming off of it and we cut them to length, we solder them, every one of them the same. Uh, it's kind of before we start building anything, uh, we build all our parts up. So. Right. Anyway, and then, and then we have uh, 110s, 220s, AUs, EUs, UKs, all different kinds of cords we use. Of course, most of the time we have them prepped and ready with a, a ground T on it, ready to go on. So, right. so what we do, we pull the driver off considering everything's built we pull our parts we put our dc on the dc side put our ac on the ac side we flash it and then from there once it's ready we'll just uh, we'll grab a uh, grab a plate get some cable glands on it so to speak mm -hmm. put these on stick a screw in it and we just stick a driver on it and uh once we do that once we do that, we uh, put your fasteners down on it and we put a uh, tensiometer box on it or an RJ, depending on the customer's preference. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, like I said, we put our DC cables in and you can just kind of see they come out and go to one side and then we got these jumpers that will also go on the other side to make a complete circuit just on that each one and then and then we put our uh, wire covers on once we get the jumpers put on okay actually we put our wire covers on in the middle we just started using these hmm. plastic when it goes in the middle easy and then like i said once we get it done here uh, we bring it down here and we just stack it up and then when we get them all built, we we come back. We do it a little differently. A lot of people, they'll run all day long. 
run them straight down and he'll hot pot them and box them. Mm -hmm. But what we do, we, we get together, all three of us, we build a bunch, and then we have them lined up here, we foam clean them, and then go back and he high pots every one of them. Once they got the socks on them like this right here, they're ready to be boxed. He'll be building boxes and the inserts, and we'll, so I'll be down here, put them in a the box, stick them on a pallet, ready to go. And thanks for watching. A link to all HLG products are in the description below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. See you soon.